Hey guys, what's up? It's Justin here from uh, Cinema 4D Tuts, and a lot of you guys, actually like 50 people wanted a tutorial on this uh, Project Imagination, uh, the video I did for Before and After Episode 2. So I decided, hey, I'll do a tutorial on Project Imagination, or actually that's the thing on YouTube homepage, this is just Imagination. So yeah, anyways, um, of course just open up Cinema 4D. This is this really isn't that hard to do. It's just a lot of uh it's basically just compositing a uh a picture or I mean an object in a in text into a like a picture. So um let's see. First off, I'm just going to make a background. Um and you can do this with any picture. I'm just going to do it with the one that I used for project imagination or fuck, why do I keep saying that? For imagination. So load image. Oh, it's right there. Is this the one? Um, okay, none of those are the ones. Hold on. Alright, picture manipulation. Alright, there we go. Um, so just set that as the uh, texture. Um, I think everybody knows how to do that by now. Um, so just put that into the background. And now, as you see, you just have that as your Cinema 4D uh, thing your workplace or whatever um... let me go ahead and save this because i have to like open and close and reopen um... cinema 40 like a hundred times during tutorials alright so what you're gonna do next is make a plane um... and then drag that onto the background so it's a child of the background and then uh... go into background and go to tags cinema 4d tags compositing and then go down here and click compositing background so now you won't see the plane and you can um, you can use this you can use the plane to sort of make shadows and um, add stuff into this picture right here because if you added stuff in without the uh, the plane and the compositing and all of that it would just look sort of bland and it would just look really bad so um, just change this to 99999 oh. okay um... still looks the same and for this project for the lighting um... the lighting wasn't very good i know um... i could have enhanced that a little bit more since the lighting is really good in this picture so what i did was just um... drag this back here to make it look like it was coming from uh... back there so all the shadows were okay but you could of course go in more depth with that and uh, make better shadows but I'm just doing this really quick to show you guys so it doesn't have to be perfect for the tutorial because it's just a tutorial um, so as you see there is a rainbow and text um, I'm not sure what text I use that'll be hard to find and the smoke I I did some more uh, stuff in Photoshop but I'm just gonna focus on the cinema 4d part right now um, so the way I made the rainbow was uh let's see what did I do oh yeah I went into tube uh so make a tube I flipped it to like ninety degrees or so um this one won't look the exact same as the one in the picture because I'm just doing it up again really quick um so you go into slice and slice it in half so now you just have half the tube which is the first part of the rainbow so um let's see how does that look uh... oh shit i forgot to put on shadows so yeah uh... when you add the light in make sure to put on shadows what the fuck okay see so that's already looking pretty cool i guess um... like i said already it's not gonna look the exact same um... so just move it around to wherever you want and then just click it control con c and then control v so you make a copy of it um... and then so this one is 50 and 200 for the inner and outer radius so for this one make it 200 and 300 maybe let's see how that looks okay do 200 and 350 I think that should look fine um, alright so there's the second part of the rainbow and in a rainbow there is seven colors I think two three four five six yes okay seven colors Roy G. Biv, if you got 
taught that way. So uh, do that again <clears throat> and make the third part 350 by 500. Let's go up in 150 increments. Um, a lot of people did say that the rainbow was way too big for the picture, so um, might want to size it down a little bit, not follow my exact uh, colors if you want it to look better. Also, you guys can set your video responses if you want to make your own uh, project or imagination picture if you want to follow this tutorial and do your own if you don't know how to already because a lot of people, like a lot of people asked if they could uh, get a tutorial on this. So I was like, yeah, sure. Um, Alright, so control C, control V, and then do this one 500 by 650. This might actually be getting a little too big already. Um, I'm not sure. I guess we'll see how it is at the end. So that's four, five. All right. So the fifth one, 650 by 800. <coughs> All right. Yeah, this is gonna be way too big. Uh, 800 by 950. Wow, that is really big. That's what she said. Control C, Control V, and for the seventh one, 950 by 1,100. Okay, that is a fucking huge rainbow. That's even bigger than the one before. Um, all right, just add a null object and make all of these tubes that. So now what I'm gonna do really quick is just size this down. Yes, there we go. Okay, that <laughs> that should look a lot better. Okay, and it's a little bit too high off the ground, so. Alright, that should be good. How's that looking? Alright, it looks pretty similar so far. Um, like I said, not going to be perfect. So now what I did was I just made seven materials and I just did all the colors of the rainbow. Um, purple, set dark blue. Uh, I don't know the colors of the rainbow, so just make uh, colors. Make the colors of the rainbow, maybe add a little... Uh, reflection this one is dark blue so you can just do this really quick on your own um, you don't have to follow mine I'm just making colors not hard to do at all alright and then indigo green yellow orange oh yeah guys I saw the hangover 2 last night oh my god literally the best movie ever like it's probably my favorite movie of all time. Somehow it topped The Hangover 1, the first one, which was an excellent movie. And this one, they just I was really wordy, uh, worried when I was going to see it that it wasn't going to be as good as the first one. It was just going to be a disappointment. That's not it at all. It was, it was extremely good. I went with a few friends. Uh, we went late last night. It was really good. So um, I definitely suggest seeing it if you have not already. It's been out for two days. And the, the movie theater wasn't even really crowded. Um, which was surprising. It was like the second day that's been out. Um, so yeah, guys, go see it. Um, it's an awesome movie. All right, so let's see. We got all seven colors of the rainbow. Uh, those are just done really fast. All right, so then just drag them onto uh, the tubes going up. So we have all of them in order. Bam, 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 bam. Wow, what the hell? Okay. Um. Okay, hold on. I gotta save and reopen. I'm not sure how I got the, uh. What the hell? how I got the uh, rainbow to look colorful from the front hold on but um yes guys this is just a tutorial to show you how to do this like I've mentioned a few times um, it will be different if you're not in R12 so keep that in mind if you're on 11.5 or 11 or any of the other versions then it will be different okay Wow, that's looking really bad. Okay, this light has shadows. 
I'm just gonna make a really low intensity light in the front of it so put the intensity down to like I don't know 45 okay that doesn't look bad um, I'm gonna bring this light down a little bit and maybe over to the side get better shadows okay so that's looking a lot worse than the first one <laughs> like I said don't follow my tutorials to the exact because you should be doing this um, you know just messing around with it don't take my exact settings I mean it's not like I care if you steal my exact settings because that doesn't really matter to me much um, wow what the fuck is with this layer um, but messing around with it on your own a lot does help so hold on let me close and reopen alright guys this is gonna be about a 15 minute tutorial hope you guys don't mind um, there has been some technical difficulties but I'm not gonna redo it because I already taught you the majority of the stuff on the rainbow and how to do it and then the rest is just adding the text in in front of it um, I think all of you guys should know how to do that um, what the fuck okay there we go so basically it's just a lot of uh, compositing you can do or you can use compositing for a lot of things um, I use compositing a lot I think it's really fun to use it's, it's basically adding in pictures or like something in cinema 4d into a real-life image um, it's really cool to do you can also do animations like this or uh, similar to this um, let me change the shadowing see if that does anything okay not really um so yes guys I hope you learned how to do this change the settings and make it look nice and don't follow the tutorial exactly 100% or follow the tutorial to learn how to do it but not my settings because my settings are bad right now because I was just showing you how to do it but um anyways that is the tutorial on how to do project imagination after that you just add in the text and that's basically it um yeah, so basically I just had text lined up in front of it, and it said imagination, and that was about it. Um, it's really not too hard. Let's see, imagination, and bam, you got your project. Not a really hard thing to do. Uh, it can come out really nice. Like this one that I did here, it came out uh, really nice, I think. Um, I might have the project file, actually. Oh, okay. Okay, this is the one that I used. Okay, yes, this is. Oh, yes, I also use uh, global illumination and ambient occlusion. So if you guys want to add that, I'm sure that would uh, be a pretty big factor. I didn't on the tutorial little project I did. But um, after this finishes rendering out, it'll show you how nice it looks. Also, guys, make sure to thumbs up, favorite, comment this video if you enjoyed it. Um, leave a suggestion for the next tutorial that I will probably do. I have a four-day weekend. I didn't go to school today. I skipped, and I don't have school on Monday. See, like this one looks really nice. I think I thought I really liked the outcome or the final result of the uh, one that I uploaded. I thought that it looked really amazing, and then I touched it up a little bit in um, Photoshop. So. Yeah, guys, uh, just follow the tutorial for the first part, and then you can just take it from there and use your own settings. Uh, make sure to do global illumination. If you don't know how to do that, you just go to effects and click. Oh, oh I already have them <laughs> right here. So uh, you can just go to effects and then add global illumination and ambient occlusion. They will be there if you don't have them already. Um, and that just gives it really nice uh, like shadowing and lighting and all of that. So... Uh, Make sure to like, favorite, comment this video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And peace.